they're naked from the body but with the Lord. At the final resurrection, the body will be reunited with the soul. For the unbeliever, the unbeliever will will be separated from God in a place called hell, ultimately. Actually, most theologians say that hell is the final resting place. There's a place called Hades, the holding area until ultimately the final judgment. Now, Dina, when people are asking you questions, do they just not believe in life after death, or are they asking the hell question? Uh, they want to know what we as Christians uh, believe because um, my, a lot of my friends are Hindus, and for them, it becomes uh, like that they, it would take a form. Your spirit will take a form of uh, yes. animal. Yes. The whole reincarnate, that I can sort of yes. tell from your name, Veena, and it sounded as though you may be Indian. And so yes. I was going to ask you about the Hindu thing. Frank Chura, give me a riff on uh, reincarnation. Yeah, reincarnation, um, my my problem with reincarnation, well, there's a couple problems with it, other than the fact that it, it, it disagrees with the Bible, but just logically, for reincarnation to be true, you would actually need a theistic God to keep track of it all. Right. You would need some somebody like God to say, okay, this guy did badly and was immoral in his first life, so we're going to put him in a lower level of life this time. Well, that, that would require a mind like God to keep track of. Also, you could ask somebody who believes in reincarnation, in my first life, what was I, what was I serving for? Uh, what was my karma based on? I didn't have a previous life. And uh, so, so reincarnation doesn't seem to, 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 to make any sense within, say, the, the Hindu worldview, where they don't have a theistic God, a, a mind out there that can, can, keep, can keep track of all this. Yeah, and Vina, one of the things that I personally have had some experience with in dealing with those that believe in reincarnation or they're, they're Hindu is, okay, how does this whole thing start? All right, do you really believe that the universe doesn't have a, a beginning of time, matter, and space? Vina, have you ever asked them that? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, so, so you want to argue, what, what, there's a handful of arguments. You, you want to sort of go as a creator idea, yes. is that there's got to be, it can't be an infinite number of gods, right? right. Who started right. that, who started that, who started that, what came before that, right? So there's got to be a creator, and then if the system of reincarnation was actually functioning, how did it start, how does it end, who keeps score, and who judges? Okay. And there's no personal God in Hinduism that you have a personal relationship with. They're distant. And there's millions of gods. There's one other point, Frank, yeah, you yeah, want no. to bring up, and that is the fact that this reincarnation view assumes a moral law. Yes. But there is no moral law giver in Hinduism. There is no standard, there is no grounding for this moral law unless God exists, the very God that has to keep track of all the karma. So, in, in effect, for reincarnation to work, you'd need God to do it. Yep. Yep, no, that's right.